So this is a skull that was excavated from Russian Abbey in 1926 and it showed some interesting signs of pathology. So it was originally excavated as a full cranium, but in 1926 there wasn't really much ethics around the handling of human remains and how we store them. So they cut into it to look at the pathology because they could see it was abnormal. So this is a parietal bone and that's the bone that sits on the top of your head and it should be around this thickness here and you can see that this is much thicker and it's because this is evidence of a condition called Paget's disease and throughout life your skeleton remodels your bone is constantly breaking down and reforming and Paget's disease is a condition where this process stops it doesn't work correctly and it causes huge amounts of thickening across different bones of the body. And the skull is one of the most commonly affected in people with this condition. So Paget's disease actually has a higher level of presence within modern populations in the northwest of England. So it's quite interesting that we're also seeing it on the Isle of Man during the medieval period as well. It wouldn't have had really a negative impact on the individual during life. It may have caused pain and discomfort and the skull would have looked abnormal, but it wouldn't have had any kind of detrimental effects. 